This November, you have an opportunity to make real change and take action to address our region's housing crisis by voting yes on Measure A. As Mayor of Palo Alto, I know that so many of our community members are working harder than ever, but still struggling to find an affordable place to live. Our seniors, our veterans, our low-income families are chronically homeless. Even working professionals like our teachers, police, and nurses are having a hard time finding an affordable place to live. Voting yes on Measure A will create new affordable housing and provide more housing options across our entire county. Measure A will create thousands of new affordable homes for, for our most vulnerable community members, including our low-income seniors, homeless veterans, people with disabilities, and our homeless families. We can and should help our friends and neighbors in need. Measure A will also provide affordable housing to our low-income and working families. Measure A prioritizes affordable housing near transit and work centers, which also reduces traffic and cleans our air. That's good for all of us. And a first-time home buyer program means that our youth, who are working hard to build their lives and homes, don't have to move somewhere else to do it. I hope you will join me in voting yes on Measure A for affordable housing. Measure A is a game-changing solution we have been looking for. On the ballot throughout Santa Clara County this November are two measures. Measure A is a $950 million bond measure for subsidized housing proposed by the County Board of Supervisors. The other measure B I will address separately. It is a half cent sales tax increase proposed by the Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority, VTA, with authorization for the VTA to borrow money against that revenue stream which over 30 years is estimated to generate over $6 billion. But first, Measure A. The opposition arguments that will appear in your voter information pamphlet, scheduled to arrive about a month before the election, were prepared by several persons, including Morgan Hill resident Mark Hinkle of the Silicon Valley Taxpayer Association. Mr. Hinkle's out of the area, and so I'm filling in for him. He would want me to remind you as do the ballot arguments, that more information about Measure A can be obtained from his group's website, which is at svtaxpayers.org. Now, Measure A. As I mentioned, it is a bond measure. A bond measure is a request from an agency for permission to borrow money by selling government bonds, which must be repaid with interest. A general obligation bond pledges repayment through higher property taxes unless some other method is specified. So the first issue is whether the county should borrow more money when government at every level is so far in debt already, including massive unfunded pension liability for state and local governments. The next question is how much will it cost to repay $950 million to be borrowed? It depends upon the interest rate or rates offered in selling the bonds. Legally, under California law, it could be as high as 12% per year, which would make repayment over 30 years very expensive. However, interest rates on bonds are currently low, and if the bonds were sold quickly, the interest could be limited. The next question is, how will the money be spent? This measure refers to buying and improving real estate, but also providing programs to go along with housing for the population groups targeted. Just how efficiently money will be spent depends upon, in the first instance, the organization in charge. Here, it is the county government which already spends generously on many programs and employees. At least, at least we can say about the county government, is that it is headed up by a full-time Board of Supervisors elected in five districts across the county to four-year terms. So in theory, these politicians at the top could be held to account if anyone with serious campaign money ever runs against them. So why is there a housing shortage in Santa Clara County? Jobs have been added, but new housing has been largely limited to existing transportation corridors. There's actually plenty of space for more housing in the Bay Area, but governments have limited the supply of housing 
deliberately. One consequence is that home prices have soared to the financial benefit of homeowners, but renters are not so happy. Rents are going through the roof. So this measure would make some more housing available to those who could not otherwise afford to stay. Not many, of course. Even if the county finds money from other sources to add to this billion, the housing involved will just be a drop in the bucket. So some folks contend that government should, instead of borrowing money for subsidized housing, allow the market to function freely. And instead of picking winners and losers in the housing market and borrowing money to lessen the impact on a relatively few number of people, change housing policy. Measure A will only pass with two-thirds of those voting in favor. Vote yes or no, but be sure to register and vote. And as to registration, Please note that you can now register or re-register at your current address online in California at registertovote.ca.gov as close as 15 days before the election. But don't wait. Make sure you're registered at your current address now, read the ballot arguments, and be sure to vote. <laughs>